Welcome back. The holiday weekend is almost here and the festivities are already underway right here in Bryan College Station with the annual Freedom Walk to celebrate Juneteenth. Take a look. The walk was tremendous. The turnout was way more than I expected. Thanks to the Boys and Girls Club and the Lincoln Center really getting the word out. Um, we actually did a lot of publicity this year and I'm glad some people that weren't even affiliated with those organizations came and joined us. Hundreds of children and adults hit the pavement today for a 2.2 mile stroll from the Lincoln Recreation Center and College Station to the George H.W. Bush Presidential Library and Museum grounds. We've been doing this for 19 years before it was a federal holiday. We think it's such an important event for Texas, but now it's a national holiday as well. We jumped right in with the Lincoln Center and then it's been, it's been growing ever since. After making the trek for the first time since 2019, members of the Rec Center and the Boys and Girls Club met for a special presentation of stories, song and dances by author Tony Simmons. I think the message for all everyone is that there was a lot of sacrifices that have been made by previous generations to get us where we are today. There's still a ways to go and uh, we need to look back to be able to look forward. Juneteenth commemorates the emancipation of enslaved African Americans in Galveston, Texas, who were liberated by Union soldiers two years after the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. Understand the culture, understand the history, and hopefully the parents will take the time out to teach them history, because it's, it's, it's a part of American history, and it's something to celebrate. And we've got a full list of Juneteenth events you can go to tomorrow. The Juneteenth Parade will start tomorrow morning at the Kemp Carver Elementary at 10 a.m., followed by a celebration at Sadie Thomas Park, then ending the night with an R&B and Blues Festival in downtown Bryan.